So here's a little uh, side project that I've been working on just as part of my much larger hexapod project. Um, they're little 3D printed bearings with really low friction, uh, comparable even to that of uh, low end bearings that you'd go and buy from the hardware store. Um, only these are extremely customizable to meet your exact purpose uh, and they allow you to save lots of space by integrating mounts and other parts directly in uh, and they're also much lighter because they're mainly made of plastic. Um, so this is all at the cost, of course, at uh, smaller load carrying capacity and lower maximum rotation speed, but for small robots and the like, um, it's absolutely sufficient and a very reasonable trade-off. So they're made up of um, three 3D printed parts. There's this outer piece, which has a semicircle revolve cut around the inner diameter. Uh, there's an upper piece, which has a little quarter um, circle revolve cut around the outer diameter. If I can get that to focus. No, I'm sure it. And there's a lower part which also has a quarter circle revolve cut around the uh, outer diameter. Right, and so the upper and lower parts have a M2 hole through the middle. Uh, and I put a little nut trap on the lower part so I can uh, clamp them together with an M2 bolt. So assembly is really easy. I picked up um, thousands of these 1 8 inch uh, ball bearings from eBay for like $5. Really, really cheap. Um, so you just put the outer ring on top of the lower part and stick in a bunch of bearing balls uh -oh. um, 12 suits for this size oh, lost focus. Right. and then I just lift up the outer ring a bit and push the balls into the groove great and stick my M2 bolt through the top piece. And slot it on in. Grab my Allen key, tighten it down nice and tight. And there we go. Really, really, really smooth motion. Um, nice and rigid, radially. They can take quite a bit of a thrust load as well, and they really don't bend out of their plane. Um, this one's one of my test ones, so it's not perfectly um, sized up, but here's one that I'm using for the femur of my hexapod robot. And you can see that these ones are just so rigid, they do not slip at all radially, um, and you can't even bend them out of their plane. The plastic bends before they do. So yeah, really, really useful in small projects. Um, they don't take up any more space than just putting a bolt through two pieces of plastic, really. Um, so this is where I've used them in my in the femur of my hexapod robot. So I've got this horn side connects the two uh, servos, and just so that they can't bend out of their plane, I've got these things on, on the other side. Really, really useful. They take up pretty much no room, pretty much no friction, like these things can just, yeah. So yeah, really useful for any small robotics projects or little servos and stuff that you plan to use.